Hello everyone, I'm Landon Tucker and you're watching a Magnolia Charging Review of the 2018 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid Limited. Under the hood of the Pacifica Hybrid, you'll find a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. Now this V6 has been modified from the one in the gasoline version of this vehicle. This one is designed to run more efficiently because it does not directly power the wheels all the time. It can run as a generator. Next to that you have two electric motors in what's considered an electronic continuously variable transmission. All you need to know about that is there are no gear changes. It's all one continuous smooth acceleration experience. If you need more acceleration than what the electric motors can give you, just stomp on the accelerator a little bit harder and the gasoline engine comes to life and starts to power the vehicle so that you get your fastest zero to 60 possible. And you might be worried about the warranty on the vehicle. Don't worry. You have a 10 year, 100,000 mile battery warranty. That means if your battery fails, they will replace it for you if it's less than 100,000 miles. That is to give you confidence in the vehicle. Even though, as we talked about last week, these vehicles are designed to last well over 200,000 miles with the original battery. So don't worry about reliability or fuel economy. You've got both. Charging your Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid is as easy as charging your laptop. Simply plug in one end of the charging cable into a 110 volt outlet, locate the charge port door on the front driver's side fender, and plug the other end of the plug into the charging port. You'll get a full charge in under 14 hours. Now, if you want to get a full charge faster than that, you can install a 240 volt outlet or adapter into your garage or on the side of your house, and you can get a full charge in as little as two hours. That's pretty good for 33 miles of electric range. Now, of course, you do not have to charge the Pacifica in order to drive it. It can get 32 miles per gallon on gasoline. So you would never have to charge this vehicle and you would get better fuel economy than any other minivan in the country right now. However, you'll get even more benefits if you do charge because plugging this in and charging it will cost you about half as much as using gasoline even with the great fuel economy that this vehicle gets. So this is a true no compromise minivan. When you step into this minivan, I can guarantee that you will not be disappointed. It's one of the nicest minivan interiors that you will find. You have a dual tone steering wheel with controls for your adaptive cruise control and your voice controls. This steering wheel is also heated. In the center cluster, you've got real analog gauges on the left and right hand side of the digital display in the instrument cluster. The digital display will tell you just about anything you need to know about what the vehicle is currently doing and the analog gauges will tell you your fuel level on the right hand side and on the left hand side it'll tell you what percentage of the power you are using that the vehicle can produce or how much you're recharging when you're slowing down. One thing you'll notice is the rotary shifter. When you put your foot on the brake you can twist the rotary shifter all the way to the right that puts you into drive. Push and twist to get into low. This puts you in high region. This is like if you're going down a hill, this will be pumping a lot of electricity back into your vehicle and can bring you down to about five miles per hour. That's also wonderful when you're in heavy traffic and you don't want to have to be constantly getting on and off the brake and the accelerator. You can drive with one pedal in most of the time. In the center of this vehicle, you'll notice that you have a beautiful 8.4 inch display. This is Chrysler's excellent Uconnect system. Basically, when you click on something, it's going to happen. And you can even reconfigure stuff. If you hold down and move, you can actually change where functions are in the vehicle. You'll also be able to find your hybrid electric display that tells you where the power is coming from that's going to the wheels to move the vehicle. Another awesome feature that this vehicle has is Apple CarPlay. What this does is allow you to use your phone through the display in the vehicle. You have access to phone functions, music control, 
maps, navigation, messages, YouTube, podcast, audiobooks, Amazon Music, Pandora, iHeartRadio, and any other compatible apps that you might have on your phone. You can even use Siri. You'll see that you have dual zone climate control, and you do have third row climate control also. That controls the second and third rows right here above the passenger side child seat. You have a USB port right here, an aux outlet, a small tray to hold supplies. You do have a disc player. This can play um, audio or visual media. You have this massive storage area that you can put quite a bit of stuff in there. And it's even got spots for your coins. Down here you'll find a catch-all. This will be great for a woman's purse or baby bag. You've also got a 12 volt socket and you've got another USB port. You have another cubby right here and then you've got two American sized cup holders. You also have this well right here that has a rolling top on it and it's a small area that's good for storage. The seats are very comfortable. Like I said earlier, they are perforated leather, heated and cooled, and you will not be left wanting. Now, let's move on to the rear of this vehicle. With the Pacifica Hybrid, you get a plethora of luxury features and amenities. One of the nicest ones is the power sliding doors that are foot activated. So, I don't have any children, but I have had an armful of stuff that it was difficult for me to set down and wish I'd had a feature like this. So, say this is Junior or Susie, and you're trying to get them into the van, but you don't want to set them down. If you've got the key fob in your pocket, simply swing your foot up under the door, wait a second, and the door will open for you. Put whatever luggage or child you have in the car seat, and you press the button to close the door. The door will not automatically close. You have to press the button. It will not let your foot activate it so you don't have to worry about the door closing on you. This is a very nice convenience feature that has been thoughtfully designed by Chrysler. If you happen to be the person who gets put in the second row of this vehicle, you won't be upset. That's because you have anything and everything you could just about want in this second row. You have a USB port, audio jack, and HDMI port. Well, why do you need the headphone jack and the HDMI port? for this. This is Chrysler's rear seat entertainment system. This is not just a DVD headset area where you can watch movies. No, your kids can actually learn and play. You have apps that are where kids can play multiple different types of games. There's one that's called Are We There Yet? and actually is synced with the navigation system and lets the child see how much longer until you get to your destination on the nav. You've got bingo, checkers, hanging fruit, license plate game, math cards, solitaire, sudoku, and tic-tac-toe, all right here on this one screen. And it's touchscreen, as you can see, so the kids can play with it just like they play with their iPad or phone. When they get done, just put it away, and you can mess this up, get it dirty. This plastic is very durable, and you don't have to worry about it getting messed up. And these USB ports are high power USB ports that'll be able to charge a tablet even. You've got grocery bag hooks and map pockets and the handy sunshade. You have one on both sides of course and this is great if Junior's trying to take a nap. We do have coat hooks right here, vents, map lights, and a panoramic sunroof. Now on the driver and second row passengers, you have a moving pane and a main glass, and so you get this wide open expanse. Then in the third row, you also have an open area with a manual closed shade, so no one is without their time in the sun. So you may be wondering, well, where does the battery go? Because don't those things take up a lot of space? In this minivan, no. Because this vehicle was designed with stow-and-go seating, the gasoline version of this vehicle has a large open area where seats can fold into. Well, rather than having to put the battery in some awkward location in the trunk of the vehicle, 
The battery is located in the middle of the vehicle, right below the second passenger seats. Now, you do lose the stow and go functionality. However, the seats in this vehicle are actually more comfortable than the ones in the gas version because they were able to put more padding because the vehicle didn't need to be able to fold the seats up tightly and fit them into a small space. So you actually get better second row seating in the hybrid than you do in the gasoline version. And of course, just like with any other minivan, you can remove the seats if you need to. They simply won't fold into the floor. You'll find that in the third row of the vehicle, you get two cup holders, a storage bin, USB port, and rear sun shades. That's in addition to the large glass sunroof reserved just for the third row passengers. This does have a manual shade that they can close and open at their will. When it's time to haul cargo, it's as simple as pulling a lever, pulling the seat back, and letting it fall. That applies for both sides. And you do have child latch anchors on all five seats. When you need to replace the seats, pull up on this handle, push, and pull. Same thing for the other side. Pull, and pull. To lift up the headrest, and you're ready to go. If you want the headrest folded, pull on the handle. You do have a 12 volt outlet back here, and a storage area, and a lot of cargo area. Now I think it's time that we go for a test drive. Now I have to say, acceleration is very smooth, but powerful in this vehicle. That's one of the traits of an electrified vehicle. You don't have to worry about a lack of power down low because that's where electric motors produce most of their torque, or actually all of their torque. Now you'll see that the lane keeping assist has turned green this means that the vehicle has identified the lanes and will keep me in the lane. Now as I go left, it actually starts pushing me back over. And always be aware, but you see it's keeping me in the lane and it's telling me to put my hands on the steering wheel. But this vehicle is keeping me from bumping into traffic. Now of course, if you'll notice, I'd made sure there was no traffic around me when I tested that. But it is a very good safety technology. I've now got the adaptive cruise control set and it sees the vehicle in front of me. This has a stop and go feature. You'll see that I am set for 37 miles per hour, but the vehicle is bringing me to a complete stop. How cool is that? And you'll see it'll get up close and then we stop. And when this vehicle resumes acceleration, we will resume our speed also. But while it'll only go as fast as the vehicle in front of us or up to my set speed. Now with the soft tap of the accelerator, the vehicle resumes acceleration. This is so that if the vehicle in front of you starts moving, you're not gonna automatically start moving. You just have to softly touch the accelerator and then the vehicle resumes speed. On top of all the great features and the fuel efficiency of this minivan, it also qualifies for the $7,500 federal tax credit. That means that this minivan is cheaper than just about any competitor, and it gets better fuel economy and can be driven on electricity. Wrapping up this review, I came away very impressed by this vehicle. From the advanced electric drivetrain to the active safety technology, the awesome convenience features, and the family-friendly tech, this is the minivan to get if you want your family to have the best. I want to thank Mack Hike, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Fiat of Flowood for lending me this vehicle for review. If you are interested in a Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid, 
Be sure to stop by and let them know that Landon Tucker from Magnolia Charging sent you. They're glad to help you and will make sure that you are satisfied with your experience. Be sure to check out magnoliacharging.com if you want to learn more about electric vehicles. The website simplifies and outlines the major aspects of what an electric vehicle is and the many benefits they offer. Learn about charging your vehicle, the differences between a pure electric vehicle and a plug-in hybrid, and learn about the commercial charging stations we offer for businesses to attract customers with plug-in vehicles.